Hey guys, welcome to another Top Drives video and today it's the first 10 races of the German Elite Challenge. Okay guys, so the first 10 races of the German Elite Challenge um, and to be honest, it's not overly tough. The only sort of round that looks kind of daunting is round 10, but we'll talk about that when we get there. Um, you are able to get through majority of it with just uncommons and rares. And then I've used just one or two super rares, which isn't bad for an elite challenge. Um, now, you have to remember that every car has to have a minimum of three fuses. Uh, so that's where the difficulty lies with that, making sure that you've got some of these um, these old cars with the fuses in. But luckily, I've not needed any of them really crappy four-wheel drive standard tyre BMWs as of yet. Uh, I hope I don't actually have to because I haven't got any of them built but uh, they might be something I'll, I'll look at building overnight before the second part of this challenge drops. Because at the moment I'm not using my gold for tickets to progress further. There is quite a lot of challenges currently going on at the same time now, which is it's just prolonging how long it's taken me to get these videos done. Because I'm still trying to to do other things in between. So it's you know um, the slowing down how long it's taken me to to get each video done. So you're just gonna have to bear with me. Hopefully I'll get the the first part of the rest of European uh, racer challenge up later. And um, that is the final challenge that they have released now for Old Guard uh, for the racer side of it elite side of it this is the third challenge so once you get to round 19 like i said it won't be in this video but when we get to round 19 that is our third elite token if you're up to date with it all and um, which would actually give you access to the challenge that hasn't been released as of yet but it will give you access to the challenge to get your legendary either the Mitsubishi Evo or the um, oh, my mind's gone blank <laughs> the Audi S1 off-road rally car um, so that'll be interesting uh, but it kind of remains to see how hard this challenge will get um, at round 10 you do come up against your first epic um, off-road rally car the, the Porsche that used to be ultra rare um, it like I said, it looks daunting, but it's not too bad. And unless you kind of have that yourself with more than three fuses, you can't use it against their stock one. Um, but that is that is round ten. That is races ten. Uh, so yeah, kind of coming thick and fast these challenges now. But like I said, the the fifth one for racer has been released and. If you can finish um, that one totally, then that gives you access to, well, both the final challenges. Uh, one is for the Ford GT, which is meant to be three tokens, uh, but the challenge hasn't yet been released. And one will be five tokens, and again, that challenge hasn't been released. But as of today, you can get your fifth race token if you want to race ahead and... Um, to grab that, that is obviously your choice. Um, but like I said, I will not be doing that. So in this video anyway, there is absolutely zero crazy builds. Um, and, and like I said, you're not even really using anything over a super rare. Uh, and only one or two super rares but there is enough rq that if you wish to use a bit higher then you're more than welcome to guys if you've got the cars with more than three fuses go for it there's some ultras 
some decent ultras um, and some epics and stuff like that which can be used if you feel that you really need to or you've got no other choice Now while you're here guys, if you do like my videos, please do drop a like and smash that subscribe button. Really helps me build my channel. Um, and to be fair guys, I haven't really got a lot to say. Um, other More than what I've said in the rest of my videos in the last couple of days because they've all been based on the same thing realistically now this race kind of amazed me how the higher RQ'd BMW lost by nearly 40 seconds on that race that was a bit bit crazy Uh, now, if you haven't entered my giveaway, uh, please go and enter if you can. You've got one more day. It's running until midnight tomorrow night, which is Friday the 7th of October. And the giveaway will be done on Saturday the 8th of October. There is a video, so go and watch it and um, get yourself entered into the draw. It's for a carbon fibre. If you're watching this after the 7th and 8th, unfortunately the giveaway will have been done and gone. Um, so don't try and enter if you're try and, trying to after, um, after the 7th and 8th. And then hopefully with a push... I can push up to 2,000 subs, and if I get to 2,000 subs, I can yet again do another giveaway. Uh, but that feels a little bit of a time away as of yet. Um, so, yeah, if you haven't subscribed, please do, and help me push my channel a little bit further. That would be absolutely fantastic. Also, if you want to come and say hello, you are more than welcome to drop into the Discord. The link is down below in the description. There's plenty of good players in there, plenty of conversation. Um, and always players willing to help if you need the help. So yeah, just pop in. Looking forward to getting the carbon fiber. Hopefully, I can find something I'm either missing or um, a good, strong car. This has got to be one of the only packs that I don't actually want to find a legendary, as bad as that sounds. I think the epics are going to be a lot more useful here. And there is some really, really good, strong epics that came from legendary down. I'm not so bothered about the epics that came from Ultra Rare and went up, uh, simply because I think I've got the majority of them anyway. And the other thing is as well, I don't feel that they are so great. Um, you know, all the rally cars went up in RQ from Ultra Rare to Epic without any boost, without any stat increases or anything like that. So I kind of begrudge wanting to build them because they are exactly the same car as they were when they were ultra rare. But when they were ultra rare, you could build them with 15 supers and now you've got to build them with 15 epics, uh, ultra rares, sorry. Um, and they just feel wrong being an epic, to be fair. Whereas you've got these epics that used to be legendary 
Um, some of them are absolutely amazing. They've got some brilliant stats on them. Um, and they're going to be the ones that you kind of want to watch out for in the pack pools. Unfortunately, my last two carbon fibers from these challenges have trolled me, um, giving me two epics that have gone up from ultra rare, um, and both of them being rally cars, and both of them being uh, cars that I just won't touch. They'll both go into a legendary fuse, as I'm still holding on to them from ultra rare status, and they're much more valuable as legendary food than um as being kept as an epic okay so this is round 10 and this is the round that i said looked a bit daunting now race number four against the porsche rally car it actually dnfs so as long as you've got a car that is actually going to finish the uphill section of the dirt twisty road whether that be something four wheel drive standard tires four wheel drive all surface tires or four wheel drive all off road tires um you've got a really good chance now i was going to use the rq55 six by six for this one but decided to use the 49 as a trial run um i didn't know if it was going to win or not uh, but it was clear that it got, to, it got a DNF, so that's always good. So, thanks for watching, guys. I hope this video helped you through the first 10 rounds. And I will catch you next time for another Top Drive video. Take care. Bye-bye.